Hey guys, um, I just want to come on here. I'm in the office right now and I wanted to come on here and share with you guys some valid tips of why making phone calls is so important and why you have to make phone calls, right? And one of the things that I'm going to tell you is this. You will never see the importance immediately of making phone calls. You never understand. Let me sh give me a second. Give me a second. All right. One of the things I want to share with you guys tonight is my experience from making phone calls tonight, right? Um, not everybody, not everybody is going to be the receptive, not be um, open to hearing what you have to say about our campaign. Not everybody is going to be um, gravitated to want to learn more about finance, stuff like that, right? But it's just like wealth. Wealth is not for everybody. It's like entrepreneurship. It's not for everybody. But do everybody need to know that it exists? Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody got to know this exists. Everybody got to know about all these things. The thing is that I was making my phone calls today, right? And I was with my team. I made my calls right in front of the team. And I was making phone calls for the team and for the team and reaching out to people in front of them. They were hearing how I get rejected too, how I deal with rejections, how I move forward and what is it that I do. And guess what? They learned a lot. They learned a lot that, hey, you're going to come across people that are mad rude. You're going to come across people that are not so receptive to want to learn more about finance. You're going to get rejected. You're going to get hang up on. You're going to get people that tell you, don't call you called them anymore and you know what my team did they realized how i just went next 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 i just went next next number i was making phone calls for them making phone calls for myself next next number and you know what i'm saying on the phone like a lot of people say well Kim, what do you say on the phone how do you get people to say yes to you it ain't no magical script. It ain't no pitch. It's just a simple question. Hi, my name is Keon Corniff. I'm calling from the East Orange Financial Center. Is this a good time to talk? Yes, no. If it's yes, great. The reason for my call today, I just I was curious to know if you're keeping your options open to learning more about finance. Yes, no. That's all I call and I ask people. Are you keeping your options open and learning more about finance? Are you keeping your options open? Do you, do you mind? And they say, yes. I say, great. Well, we're having our orientations every Mondays at 7 p.m. and Saturdays at 12 p.m., which day works best for you. No catch, no gimmick. It's straightforward. I'm straight to the point. Right? And you know what? Imagine this, guys. And I want you guys to think about this. You think for a second that my partners, my business partners, because I, I don't even like saying my team, my business partners heard me ask that question. If someone reject that, if I call somebody and I ask you if you're open to learning more about finance and you tell me no, or you said don't call you anymore, I'm never offended. I'm never offended if you tell me no. Never. Because at the end of the day, I could only carry you to the water. I can't force you to drink it. You don't want to learn more about finance? Man, that's, that's your choice. Let me tell you something. Life is about choices. Life is about choices. The choices you make today will determine your future you think for a second that you should care if someone reject our national campaign for financial literacy 
You think you should feel some type of way because someone told you no to not want to learn more about finance? Never get offended, guys. Never get offended. I wear this pin so proudly. I stand behind what I do. I stand behind what I teach. I stand behind what I believe in. I stand behind our company. I stand behind our leadership. I stand behind between our, our, our campaign, our workshops. I stand behind what we do. I stand behind it all. Anybody that don't want our service, don't want access to our workshop, to our mentorship program, and they say no to this, do not take it offensive. It's not you. It's not you, the campaigner. It's not you, the one on the phone, giving them the opportunity to come and learn. Some people will know your number when life hits them. At least they know where they could come. That's why I love what I do. I don't take no offense. Some people get like, oh my God, this person hung up on you, Keon, how'd you feel? Next! <laughs> you think I... You think this is going to stop me from calling? I got freaking 4,000 numbers I have to call. Sometimes I wish they'd tell me no quick. <laughs> tell me no quick. Stop BSing me on your phone. Let it be a quick no. <laughs> I've never yet. <laughs> a matter of fact, I, 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 I tell you guys this. I have a honest, I have a confession. I have a confession. I'll confess this to you guys. When I'm making phone calls, right? My goal, my goal is that um, I'm aiming to get 100 no's a day. Confession. I'm aiming to get 100 no's a day. How many of you aim to get 100 no's a day? Did you know that they said that rejection is the highest paying career in the world? Think about that. Rejection. Rejection is the highest paying career in the world. How many of you guys have a job that you get rejected every day? Right? And then again, if you don't have a job that you don't get rejection every day, are you getting paid a lot of money? I made a phone call today and my team heard this and I want to share this with you guys. I made a total of about 15 to 20 calls with my business partners today for them right and they have experience with someone hang up they experienced someone pretend it wasn't them they experience people told me um call them back the next day they experience they saw me experience people that was extremely rude but then they saw one phone call that made an impact and it, I made a phone call for one of my partners, right? And the person said, tell that person that referred them for me to call them, thank you so much. They were so grateful that they were referred to me for me to call them and invite them down. They come in next Monday to the next orientation. They were so grateful. They were so thankful. They were like, I need this in my life right now. On the phone, she spent more time telling me thank you and telling me to tell my partner thank you. And everybody in the in the room got quiet. And you know what I did after I hung up the call? I said, guys, it's that one call you make that will change someone's life. You guys sit here and watch me made 10 plus, 15 plus phone calls to get to that one person that is waiting for you to call them. Sometimes you got to kiss a lot of freaking frog before you can find a prince. Sometimes you got to go through a whole bunch of crap to see the sunlight. That person was there waiting for me to call tonight. What if I didn't call her? What if I decide that, oh, after that one person hung up on me, I got sad. Oh, what if I cared if that person hung up on me? What if I cared if that person said, don't call me anymore? What if I cared that those people's rejection? 
I would have missed that one person that was waiting. Don't take it offensive, guys. I'm only calling to see if you're keeping your options open and learn more about finance. It's the same thing I do on my Facebook. I post every day. Are you keeping your options open and learning more about finance? No? That's fine. Yes? Holla at your boy. And guess what? Either decision you make, that's fine. That's okay. I'm never offended. A matter of fact, deep down inside, when you reject financial literacy and fi the opportunity to learn more about finance, I laugh. I laugh very hard. Like, sometimes in the office, they come around and say, Kia, what happened? Someone rejected again? I was like, yeah. I laugh. Because I know what you rejected. I know what you said no to. I know the opportunity you said no to. I know how much more it's going to cost you later. Every time you tell me no. Secretly, I know it's going to hurt you 10 times more five years from now. But I'll be here. I'll be here. By the grace of God, I'll be here to watch you unfold in front of me on your Facebook. I will sit here and watch and I remember, hey, I was in that person's DM asking them. Hey, I was in that person's wall talking about. I know they watch my stories. I see they watch my stories. And they never once said anything. But I know five years from now, something's going to happen. And I hope, I hope. I hope it doesn't happen sooner than five years. I pray that you get wise because you know what's going to happen to you? You're going to hit some financial challenges. You're going to go seek help from someone that you're going to have to pay. You're going to go get some guru or you're going to talk to some financial advisor. Some of you go talk to your bank. And you know what happened? They're gonna sell you into something that you have to pay taxes on every year. Or they're gonna pay some, they're gonna sell you into something that you're gonna have to pay taxes later. Or then you have to pay management fees and processing fees, administration fees. And guess what? They won't ever teach you about the other way. Because if they did, you actually be better so yeah reject me all you want reject our campaign all you want but two things will always happen I'm gonna be here forever as long as God let me be I'll be here my kids are good my family's good I'm good people in our campaign they are good. <laughs> My thing is, can you say the same confidently? Can you honestly say that you understand the concept of wealth building? Can you honestly say that you understand taxes? Can you honestly say that you understand the rule of 72? Can you honestly say that you understand what is inflation? Can you honestly say that you understand the 50, 20, 30 formula? Can you understand what is the 10, 20 formula? Do you truly understand retirement plans? Do you know how your 401k work? Do you know all these things? Can you say yes to all of these things? And if you can't, maybe it's time you actually stop saying no. And maybe you're not so good. You're okay. You're not good. But once again, they said that Poor people will always pass over opportunities repeatedly. Poor. When you don't know what a diamond look like, you'll always throw it away because you think it's some dirty rock. 
See, most of you guys will run to the things that's polished and shiny, like my forehead. And you run to things that's polished and shiny. Because you guys love things that shine and glitter. And you run away from that same thing that was polished and shine. You run away from it in its purest form. Because you never know what a diamond is. Most people don't know what diamond looks like. They see the finished product of a diamond. But they didn't see when they discovered it, it was just dirty rock. They didn't see the process when it got cut. They didn't see the process of when it got um, shaped, polished, and fitted in the right circle. And I'm here to say, most of you guys treat this national campaign, the financial information that we're trying to give you, and the fact that we do it for free. And I bet you, you still go pay for it somewhere else. So. Keep making your phone calls, campaigners. Keep reaching out to families because the right people is waiting for you to call them. The right people is waiting. Don't you ever forget that. Go through your rejections. Weave them out. Move them off your list. That's what I do. I have 4,000 plus names and numbers to always call. And I'm always going through those numbers. Because I know deep down in those numbers, there's people waiting for us. So leave poor people alone. Poor people, man. Leave poor people alone. Let them pass over opportunities repeatedly. That's fine. That's why they poor. That's why they broke. That's why they go through all these challenges because they always pass over an opportunity to get better off in life. Some people, I love Facebook. I think Facebook is the greatest entertainment in my life. I sit here and I just watch their life unfold on in front of me. And it's great. Hey, if there's one thing I always tell people, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm perfect. I'm far from it. But you know what you can't call me? Yeah, you probably already know what you can't call me. I'm all type of things. But I'm definitely not one thing. <laughs> I'm not financially literate. And because of my understanding about finance, over the years, I've taken that time to build my financial foundation. That's not perfect either. Way better than most people. Way better. And it's thanks to this campaign. So, hey, who am I? I'm just another guy, Mr. Finance. All right, so you wanna learn more? Hey, click whatever link I post. I've post so many of them. I don't know. You guys probably, were, what? Probably tired of seeing them on your timeline anyway. But hey, I'm gonna keep posting them. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Um, wow, you guys like, you see, I post a picture of Miss Universe, everybody like that, they share that, just so you guys know, Miss Universe made a whole bunch of money, and you know what's crazy, she didn't even know none of you guys, but you guys post her stuff, and yes still, I share stuff about things that can help you. Maybe you're not pretty enough to be a Miss Universe, but I think you're smart enough to learn how to get some Miss Universe money. You guys don't repost really that. You guys don't want to learn more about that. Sad, man. It's such a poor world. Everybody's so busy being skeptical. Like, I'm licensed in multiple states. If I did something wrong, you can report me to the state. If I did something illegal. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, I have fun in this industry, man. I've been in this industry for the past six years now. So 
it's nothing new to me but it's new for a few of you guys and i just want to tell you guys that hey nobody told you this would be perfect remember harriet tubman said something that was very profound harriet tubman said i could have freed a lot more slaves if only they knew they were slaves Many of you guys don't even know that you're a slave to money. And the thing that you call money is really called currency. And that currency is losing value every day due to inflation. And inflation is actually devaluing the money as we speak. Our national debt is another way for the Federal Reserve to keep printing it. And the more they print, the more value it loses. And the more the price of things going to go up, and you guys keep thinking that this is not happening. Hey, more power to you. Once again, what the hell I know. I just know my, me and my family is good. I hope you can say the same. So, like and share this. Give it some love. Give it some thumbs up, some hearts. Comment below. Am I talking some facts? Or maybe... I'm the one that's poor. I don't know. Am I poor or are you poor? But I'm going to head home. Um, God bless you guys. I appreciate you all. Remember to make sure you come down to the East Orange Financial Center here um, this Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. for our financial literacy workshops. Doors open at 7 p.m. And then we have our orientation Saturday at 12 p.m. back here at 7 Glenwood Avenue in East Orange, New Jersey. If you can't make it to the center, let us know and we'll give you access to the online classes so you don't have to make an excuse why you can't make it to the center. Anyway, and if you're not in New Jersey and you want to go to one in your state, contact me. We have centers all throughout North America and Canada. All right, and we'll definitely get you in touch with someone that way you could go to a center anywhere throughout the states, okay, in Canada. So, and Hawaii too, in Hawaii too, don't forget Hawaii. For my people in Puerto Rico, just call me. We'll give you online classes access, all right? So, all right guys, I think that's it for tonight. Um, it was real, it was awesome. Love you all. Like I said, give me some thumbs up, some hearts, like and share. Right? Did I speak some facts? Or maybe I'm just rambling. Anyway, and go check out my story in my Facebook. Right? Click through there and answer some of those questions. Give me some feedbacks. God, you guys make this thing sound so hard. <laughs> All right, so I'm out. So I just want you guys to remember this. You're always one decision away from changing your future for the better. But always remember, the choice is always yours. All right? My name is Keon Corniff, also known as Mr. Finance your favorite financial educator. Have a good night.